you want to talk about Kineticon? You want to talk about Kineticon? Okay. So, for those who don't know, Kineticon is a yearly, an annual um, convention in Hartford, Connecticut, in the Hartford Convention Center. Um, I've never been. I've heard about it for years. I've never been, but I went to it for the first time ever, uh, July 21st to 2nd. First, whatever the fucking Saturday was. You went, um, not me. And um, I had an okay time. It was, there was no RTX. RTX was much bigger when I went to RTX. It was much bigger. Um, I had an okay time. The food is too expensive. Everything was too expensive. But that's the fucking convention way, my brother. You know what I'm trying to say to you right now. So I'm going to share a few pictures with you, Zach. I'm going to, I'm going to, this is, not, editing is not going to see what I'm, why are you doing that? I'm shocked. <laughs> um, uh, editing is not going to see this. I'm going to just edit. I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is Zachary. So Ben Jury. I dressed as RuneScape Bob. I guess that's not what his name is. He's called RuneScape Bob is a cat. I can't, I've called him RuneScape Bob for my entire life. I don't know where I got that information. It's a RuneScape bot with a T. Okay, I dressed as a RuneScape bot, but I forgot, <laughs> I forgot my bald cap. So I was a RuneScape bot <laughs> with hair, and nobody <laughs> recognized who I was. So I want to show you the first picture. This Brian took He's in the middle. He's just wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm just, just wearing, a, wearing t-shirt. a t-shirt. So this is me and Brian, uh, or, and uh, well, everybody. So th- on the right is obviously Brian. He's a RuneScape mage with a party hat. Uh, I am on the left. That's me, and I made a silly face. I look like I'm lost. Barney, he, he's a character from Tarkov named Killa. And then another RuneScape rep, Joe, doing the peace signs. He's a, He has a skill cape. He's a RuneScape skill cape. He has 100%, 100, a level 100 range, level 99 range. I know. Wow. Can't hide so, from him, ladies. That um, Riz range is over 9,000. Dude. Check out this fucking line. Yeah, that's a stupid line. It was genuinely atrocious. So we were we waited in that line. We were we had to be there for two. It was noon. We got we got there. It took about an hour and fifteen to get in. We we wanted to be there by two because Barney wanted to get a thing signed. So uh, this is us walking into the convention center. This is me waiting for someone to pee. So it's the, the so there's the, the left big. half is the left left half is like what is this specifically for again? Just anything, just little trinkets, any and anime, toys and anything, any yeah, anime, so, um, music, movies, maybe, maybe, maybe so primarily anime, games, games I don't know. Yeah. Um, this left side is just the hangout spot. And there's like a little cafeteria right behind where I was standing here, um, and then there's the spot to the there's a oh boxing. No. There's a spot to the right. Spot to the right is uh, where all the setups are, all the booths are. Yeah, and then there was this random ass boxing. I would like that. It was random, random anime boxing. It was Little Mac versus like Waluigi or something. And then I got another shot of that. Did you enjoy random anime boxing? No. I don't want to derail your story, but remind me if I haven't told you about it before, my uh, backyard West Virginia wrestling tournament story. All right, Kevin. Save it. I'll save it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was like the, the convention center. I didn't get a, a good shot of like the booths or whatever, but. Um, I, in fact, I didn't get any more pictures. Um, I got this of Barney. This is his killer cosplay. He kind wore of, that on the show. Kind of banging. Oh, he did. Kind of banging. Um, he was sweating his ass off because it was like 100 degrees out. Um, I bet. Trying to see if there's any other pictures. This is I've, a picture I took, 0.5 clearly. It's Brian with his RuneScape staff looking uh, looking off in fucking. It looks Hartford, like a 100 Gex cover. Dude, it's so good. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut him out, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to f- try to find a way to get like some RuneScape backdrop in there. That's my plan. 
Um, and it, what's good about this picture that I like a lot that I didn't notice when first is that the party hat makes him look like he has like an angular head in his shadow, like a RuneScape character would have, because it's like, mm. you know, all these graphics. I thought that was cool. Um, okay. Now, this is the crazy twist that took America by storm. So we were all taking a picture outside together, as all of us. All of us looking schnazzy. Um, yeah, Barney is um, Killa. Evan and Danny are not dressed as anything. Joe uh, is the RuneScape, whatever. Me, RuneScape. Uh, oh, there's Sean Doodle. Sean Doodle uh, dressed as nothing. And then Alexis dressed as Inko Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Um, I know. Hashtag not my hero academia. Hashtag not my hero academia. So we were taking these pictures. That's my contribution my buddy, to this bit. I know jack shit about anime. Not <laughs> hashtag not my hero academia. Um, and then uh, we're hanging out there and Sean's just like, that's Andrew. That's Andrew. And we're all just ignoring him. We have a, we have a friend named Andrew that we used to do the hoopist stuff with, the Cagnu stuff. Oh, okay. He's like, uh, he's like that's, uh, that's Andrew. That's Andrew. And we're just, I'm kind of ignoring him. And then I look and I'm like, that's actually Andrew. We haven't talked to Andrew in like five, probably about five years. And it's just Andrew. And he comes up and he's just like, what Andrew. the hell? It's just Andrew. Put, ro put like, Robot what? Rock. It, that's just Andrew. It was just, I don't know. What, oh, I know what I'm saying. You're saying. Um, so that was just Andrew. And uh, he came up and he talked to us and we're like, oh, what's up, dude? Whatever. He's like, oh, yeah, I went to, I, you know, I was, I was walking around the con and we got this picture. Cute. With, uh, so Dazzly and Andrew, are, Dazzly's his girlfriend. Dazzly and Andrew are now in the background. Um... They came out of fuck. They spawned in, bro. They TP'd to us. They were a just new, there when uh, we were there. A, what is it called in Smash? A new foe has just appeared, or a new player? Yeah, a new, has just fucking a newcomer has appeared. Yeah. Um. So that was really cool. It was really nice to see Andy. Um. Oh, this is me. This is me walking. This is my face. This is me walking around, not Still knowing has what no to ears. do. No ears. No ears. Zero ears. Um. Now. Now here comes the little funny bit. All right. What do you think is happening in this picture? Um, Black Naruto rizzes up Livy Dunn. That's Goku. <laughs> Black Goku rizzes up <laughs> Livy Dunn. I don't know what that Baby means. Baby Goku rizzes up Livy Dunn. So... He could be the new Riz King. He could be the good. He could. He could. That could. Black Goku could be the new Riz King. So this is what actually I like was happening. Ben does not know what I'm referencing. No, I don't. Wow. <laughs> Sean. Sean in his head. Thought bubble just says fucking retards. <laughs> Dude, this is the this is the I'll be at the convention center. Sorry. Um, and so I'm just sitting so on the stairs like those, this. Like, emo cyberpunk girls. You know the videos of the people doing the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that reminds me of. So the, I'm just sitting on the stairs like this, fucking flabbergasted of what I'm witnessing. Why did I have to stand right in front of whatever the fuck I is wanna, going like, on here? I want to switch quickly between these two pictures and make it look like you're looking around. I can't do it. Um, yeah, but I want to like you get what I'm saying. But Zach, it gets worse. More people spawn in. It's almost like it's a fucking event. <laughs> Just walking up. A um, new player has entered, has appeared. <laughs> um, I thought I got another video of it, but I guess I didn't. Bro. 45 minutes of just listening to fucking K-pop and people jumping. It was like one of those things. I, I guess it, it's a uh, Alexis knew about it. It was a thing where they they jump in and if they know the dance, they do the dance. When they when they don't know what they're doing, they they leave or you know whatever. 45 minutes of this that we're just I'm just sitting on. The, I tell you, they put crank that soldier boy on. You're not getting me out. They they well they bro. None of them would have known that shit, bro. It's K-pop or nothing. They they told me to nothing. hit the Quan. Oh, I got that, bro. It was a I'll great teach time. him how to Dougie. Oh, Zach, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show you what I got. Look at those nipples. Look at that ass. He got something. He do be getting something. How's everyone's night going? 
You smoke meth recently? Yeah? No? Ah, forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. I went to a few booths. Yeah, and I'm shortstop for the Mets. That was something they said in Sopranos. I'm on episode oh. six. Oh, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy for you. Sean you said someone said something. A character in the show said something um, ludicrous. A character in the show said something, you know, Bananas? not not very realistic. And yeah. one of the Italian mobsters in The Sopranos said, yeah, and I'm shortstop for the Mets. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying with what I, or did get, you I hear get the it? joke. Well, he doesn't have ears. Um, I so wish I you wanna, could sign. I'm sorry. Is it offensive to fake sign language? Even though you no, don't I can know, do, I can do Naruto jutsus. <laughs> to go up to a deaf person and start doing Naruto <laughs> jutsus. I met a deaf person the other day. How was that? I don't know how to fucking sign to him, but, uh, you know, I did my best. So I, um, I went to a few booths. Uh, there was one that interested me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big retro game guy. Okay. Mm, do you have a CRT? Yeah, it's right there. Is it heavy? I can't see it. Your light is. Pre- it's oh, right no, wait, there. I can see it. I can see it. It's just the lighting and the quality was not. Um, so, I'm also on a quest to find to to. I'm get, a big retro gaming guy, and I'm also on a quest. You I'm wouldn't believe it. Quest. The odds of a retro gaming guy being put on a quest. I'm being put on a quest. I know, and I, I you could say I'm on a dragon quest because I'm I. trying to get I'm trying to get all the dragon quest games. Um, so I go to this booth at the con, and they have this. Do they have rare games? Like rare the company. No, like like rare video games that are hard to come by. Uh, yeah, like and they had them in box. Discontinued video games or something. Is it not gonna focus? Focus. My headphones keep beeping on me. I'm sure. I hope they don't die soon. It's Dragon Quest Nine. I have Dragon Quest Nine. Fifty nine dollars. Oh. Why was it fifty nine dollars? Because they're hard to come by for some reason. Oh, so I was right. Yes. Um, so I got Dragon Quest Nine, and I was happy because so I have Dragon Quest uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, and eleven. So I'm missing a few in between. I'm missing six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I got Dragon Quest Nine. And I'm like, oh, that's great. That's great. That adds to my thing. That's fantastic. And then I'm like, so I drove. I drove this. He drove everybody. I drove the. I know. And um, so look I, out! That I, guy's behind the wheel. I was like, okay, before we leave, we're going to go 15 minutes away. We're going to go to the retro game store to see if I can get anything because I didn't get I, all I got was this. This is the only thing I got from the con. I looked to see if they have any more Dragon Quest because I'm kind of like in a Dragon Quest mood now. He's they had two Dragon Quests there. Look at the price. $93.99. I'm assuming that's around the same price as if you had ordered it online. No. 300 online. So you got yourself a pretty good deal. Pretty fucking good deal. And then I got uh, the $60 Dragon Quest 7. So all I need now are 8 and 10. Hey, um, maybe we'll start a P.O. box soon. And then I, I was like, I, I spent and you can mail 100 us bombs. <laughs> I would say that. This is $150, right? Right here. This, these two little chips are $150. And I was like, I was like, should I get something else? Like, should I get like a third? I don't know. What did, what did I say? It was like, it was buy three, get one free or something like that. Or buy two, get one free. And it was, so if I got these two, I could get any game less than $57.99 for free. It's like, that's a good deal. And, she's, and then I looked on the thing, and it was like, it didn't include 3DS games. It only included Nintendo DS games. And I'm like, fuck. And she's like, but I will give you a deal. If you buy a third game, I'll give you 20% off. All right. So I got a game. I, I was like, Evan, what game should I get? I have no idea. I'm not, I, I actually don't want to get anything else. He said, uh, get this game. Apparently, this game is good. I'm not going to play it. I might play it like later in life, but I'm not in the That'll mood That'll be an old it. man game. It's Zelda Link Between Worlds. Apparently, it's really good. Um, blow your fucking cock off when you put that cartridge in. Blow my in. little cock off. Gonna blow and your little cock. 
because of that, I had so I had been playing Dragon Quest and I kind of took a little bit of a break from it because I had to grind a sixty four thousand gold. Which took multiple hours, but I got back into it and now I'm out here talking to Sancho. Oh, my God. Is that Sancho? It's Sancho. He Your speaks only Ben's in wife? Spanish. K? He says K. Hey. <laughs> I'm speaking to Sancho at the Goth the Gothic only Castle. Spanish word in there was K. Yeah, but he, the the rest of it was kind of 